It's a big night tonight on ABC. It's a major event involving time changes for two of our shows so important to the late night schedule. Starting tonight, Nightline is moving an hour later to 1235, and our friend Jimmy Kimmel is moving an hour earlier to 1135. Nightline anchor Cynthia McFadden is with us yeah. now with a sneak peek of an interview that you did with three of the hottest stars on the planet. Yeah, you would have liked this one, Larry. I would have. That's Indeed. right. <laughs> We're going to have the same great reporting on Nightline, same great storytelling. It's just an hour later. And it all starts tonight with a look at a shocking cocktail of a movie, Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained. Part epic, part revenge fantasy, part romance, and part western. It's all about slavery. Well, I sat down for the only joint interview with the controversial director and two of his stars, Leonardo DiCaprio and Jamie Foxx. One critic said recently, there is something for everyone to hate in this film. <laughs> There's something for, to make everybody mad. Mm -hmm. I don't think that you do a film like this with Quentin Tarantino and not expect that. I think that's what you sign up for. A black person I was talking to says, well, the N-word bother me. I said, it's supposed to. I don't think anybody is actually going out there saying that we use the word more excessively than it was used in 1858 in Mississippi. And if that's not the case, then they can shut up. What's your name? Django. Then you're exactly the one I'm looking for. Fox plays a freed slave on a blood-soaked mission to free his wife. In Tarantino's hands, the material is explosive, loaded with violence. This was one of the most narcissistic, self-indulgent, racist, most despicable characters I've ever read in my entire life. DiCaprio plays the truly despicable Kelvin Candy. We got us a fight going on that's a good bit of fun plantation owner and vicious racist who uses the n-word constantly i gotta say the first day on set was incredibly difficult for me and when Can jamie was there you want, you want, you want, i'll speak on it but, I, want, but, I, got, but right. I have to tell it because i i watched it i watched yeah and he goes he said and he was buddy <laughs> and i said what's the deal he said it's tough i said you know what you're human it's supposed to be tough you're not supposed to feel like that's normal in 2012, 2013. So far, the controversy has only fueled ticket sales. Django Unchained has surpassed the $100 million mark and is on target to become Tarantino's highest grossing film to date. You can see the rest of my interview tonight at Nightline's New Time following Jimmy Kimmel. All right, 12.35 tonight. We will not miss it. And you Thank said you. the movie is fantastic, It's right? really fascinating. All right, great. And then, of course, Jimmy Kimmel has been hard at work getting ready for his new time slot an hour earlier. ABC's Nick Watt went behind the scenes for a, a look at the big countdown. From Hollywood, it's Jimmy Kimmel Live. Jimmy Kimmel is moving to 11.35. And in late night TV, that's seismic. People tend to go to sleep at midnight. That's for some reason a magic number. And symbolically, it means a lot because that's when Steve Allen was on. That's when Jack Parr was on. That's when Johnny Carson was on. Wow, look at you. You're a real film director now. Huh? <laughs> Kimmel's been doing this 10 years. He's now ready. There were times when I hoped the show would be canceled, you know. I, it Why? Because it was brutal. I mean, it's a lot easier now than it was. The celebrities know who I am. That's a big part of it. I mean, there were times where I'd sit there and interview a guest, and I'd have a difficult time getting their attention. Now nearly everyone knows who he is. Kids are, are really all I have left. <laughs> they don't know who I am. They don't know where I'm coming from or what I'm getting at, so I like to talk to them. What is the difference between a boy and a girl? We just watched you spend a whole day trying to make children say bathroom words. Yeah, right. Th this is a job? <laughs> this is what I do for a living. <laughs> it's ridiculous, I know. I think you should drop the bit where you awesome. disappoint children with bad kids. No. Oh, you do? Well, you don't like that? What happened to you as a child that, that strikes a nerve? Was there something you want to talk to me I'm about? I'm interviewing you, right? <laughs> okay. So he's not afraid of the uncomfortable question. Any other tips? for late night success? If somebody is bad, if they're not funny, if they're droning on, I take it upon myself to liven the interview up and then I'll just start interviewing myself. Any other tips you can give us? Um, let's see. Be self-centered, that's number one. Just have an, a belief in yourself that I think I got from the radio because when you're on the radio, there's no response whatsoever. So you just go on and assume you're doing great. <laughs> so who are the guests in the new time slot?
Jennifer Anderson in No Doubt the First Night, uh, Ryan Gosling, Mindy Kaling, two of the Kardashians. Um, Ideal guest. Steve Martin is somebody I, I love. Has he never come up? Never up? been on the show. Uh, Bill Murray is somebody that, that I love that's never been on the show. I, I, guess, I, I guess I'm glad that there are still as many people as we've had on the show in 10 years. There are a lot of people that I still would like to talk to. For Good Morning America, Nick Watt, ABC so News, Los Angeles. Looking so forward to that, and it all starts tonight. Jimmy came alive an hour earlier, 11.35, and Nightline right after that. You got it? We got it.